This video is a warning to anybody who is considering applying for a position with South Korean English Language Institute Changdom Learning, or anybody who is currently going through the recruiting process. This is also a warning for any Korean student of English, or any Korean parent who is thinking about sending their child to Changdom Learning to study English. In 2009, I applied for a position with Changdom Learning. I was very impressed by their website, teachinkorea.com, by their attitude towards education and the high salary they offer their English teachers. After the 12-week-long recruiting process, I received a work contract from Changdam Learning and obtained a Korean E2 work visa from the Korean Embassy in my country. I arrived in Seoul to complete Changdam's one week of training before starting my job at a Changdam branch in another city in Korea. Unfortunately, Changdam made the training week very difficult for me because they were badly organized. Changdam wasted my valuable time during the training week by making me retake unnecessary medical examinations and forcing me to check out of my hotel before the training was even over. Furthermore, Changdam lied to me about the type of English class that they wanted me to take. Changdam had told me that I would be teaching English as a second language during the recruiting process, but when I arrived in Korea, Changdam said that I had to take a class that was suitable for near native speakers of English. I had no experience teaching English uh, at these levels, and nor did I have any experience teaching critical thinking skills, but I had no choice. The trainers at the training center in Seoul were unkind, and many of them were not properly qualified or experienced teachers. Apart from the few years working for Changdam, these trainers had no other experience or qualifications in the field of education. Because of the bad conditions during the training week, because Changdam had lied to me, and because I had no experience teaching such high levels of English, I failed the training week. I was very stressed and very frustrated when I failed the training week, but I was not too worried because Changdam had told everybody in the training center at the start of the training week that it was possible to do another week of training if you failed the first week. Unfortunately, Changdam lied again. When I failed the training week, Changdam told me that I could not do another week of training and that I could never work for them. I was so angry at Changdam because they had lied to me and treated me so badly. Changdam said I could not stay in my hotel anymore and that I had to find my own accommodation. I was homeless in a foreign country, stranded in Korea. I asked Changdam not to cancel my visa because I wanted to find another job in Korea. Changdam said they would give me a release letter so I could find another job somewhere in Korea. Changdam lied again. The next week, Changdam canceled my visa illegally and I was forced to leave Korea. I flew to Japan and returned to Korea a short time later to start a legal case against Changdam for treating me so badly and cancelling my visa. A few months later, a Korean court decided that my contract with Changdam was not a valid contract, but only an invitation. Therefore, Changdam was not my employer, and I could not sue them because I did not have any rights as an employee. Changdam cost me thousands and thousands of dollars because of the way they treated me and because of the way they lied to me. Some months after my court case, I posted my experience on the internet and I discovered that I was not alone and that many other people had had similar experiences with Changdam learning. Changdam had lied to hundreds of young people from around the world, tricked them into thinking that they had a job in Korea and then abused them during the training week, which was actually no more than the final stage of the recruiting process. Changdam then cancelled their visas and most of these people had to return to their home country in complete shock and in huge debt.